everybody, I'm Pio Barch, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, arrange a MIDI file for a piano roll. So, the software I use in this video are MIDI Editor, which is a free DAW. And it's a very versatile program that I highly recommend. It uh, looks like that. That's the icon right there, MIDI Editor. And then there's also MuseScore. Which is right here. Many of you might know that one. MuseScore 3 is the version I use. So anyway. So you need a MIDI file, which I typically arrange ragtime MIDI files. And these are... Oh, I got 480 rags here that are uh, practically useless at the moment. Because they were arranged, they were um, sequenced in a very bad way. It, there are a bunch of tracks. But anyway. This is all the candy right here that I'm going to arrange. This is actually a file from MuseScore that I had arranged a while ago, but it was wrong. So anyway, first step, open this in MuseScore. I'm going to minimize that. I wish I could get to the little recording thing, but that's in free cam, but I can't unfortunately get to that. So anyway, we open the file, right? Now, yeah, we just got all this right here. We got this whole entire score. Now you might see there's a couple random rests that just stick up. And then there's this one that's green. So any green rests should, you should get rid of because they clutter up the score. But anyway, just select all similar elements. If there's any in the whole entire score, they'll be gone now. So first step for me is get all the octaves in. So I typically arrange with lots and lots of octaves. So in this case, I gotta go uh, piece by piece here because I can't select them all at once because I don't want the bottom octaves to go up. I want them to go down. So let's just get all these guys. Just hit Alt 8 and that typically does the trick. Now when you want to go octave below there is no hotkey unfortunately. And that's irritating for me because I do a lot of octave belows. But you gotta go into the add intervals then you got everything that you want. Uh, so now that sounds like this. It's a very layered sound. Now this measure right here, you'll notice this. Now let's add the octave here. Oh wait, no. Sometimes you gotta think about it. See, I'm not gonna leave an octave there because I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have a big octave right here. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I got my words garbled there. I tend to do that. Um, so now that sounds like this. I'm gonna add it a triple octave. Now, once you get, you know, if, if you know where to get this, um, MIDI file, I can always send it to you. If you'd like to request the MIDI file, I will send it to you if you leave an email in the comments. And I'll delete the comment with the email once I send it to you. So anyway, let's add a little octave here. Bing! Let's see these stupid rests. There's to get it out of the way. Bing! Okay, now we got triple octaves here. Those are nice. Got that! That's awesome! Okay, now we're gonna get to the better part where I tend to work octaves. I mean, measure by measure. So you can feel free to skip after I explain what I'm going to do here. But anyway, this is pretty easy. Just add an octave there. Um, put these two right here. Now what I'm going to do after I finish the scores, I'm going to add staccato all over the place. And I'll show you guys how to do that later. But basically it's just those little tiny dots that send the C's above the notes. They just, they shorten the note by about half. And when you put them on the chords, the bass is long. But then it goes, dun it, dun it. It's got a jumpy feeling to it. Which I personally like. Some people might not like it. So anyway, that measure is done. I'm going to go here. Feel free to skip. Well, basically, I'm just going to add um, low octaves here, unless, of course, I can. And low octaves on the bass, and just and make everything a higher octave up here. And I'm going measure by measure. So, oh! I actually made that mistake twice! This is actually a second attempt at making this video, because I screwed up the last one. Okay, let's see. 
Doodle doop doop. <laughs> Once we get to the MIDI editor part, it's gonna get a lot, a lot harder. Slurs are really hard to add. She so gotta get them right, but um. Blue. I used to do this all manually. It was a true pain. And I didn't get all the octaves right. <laughs> I actually only added octaves where it was apparent that there was only one string, you know, one string of notes. If there was any chords, I wouldn't add the octaves. And they were almost always octave below, so they'd collide with the chords in the bass line. Which sounded off. Oh. This is going to take me a while. I'm going to make a Synthesia video once I get this done, though, so I'll post the link in the description. I bet you people watching this in, like, 2040 are just scoffing at me because they got some awesome software. Sibelius is not awesome, people. Well, I mean, sometimes it is. Other times it's just a pain. And the bleep! Let's see this. Tedious task. My th mouth is going to be dry by the time this video is over. That will be unfortunate. Now we're lucky, cause so see if you go down if you go down below the normal range of a piano, it'll just be red. Those notes will turn red, and then you just delete those and add an octave above. It may sound a little wonky, but better that than nothing, in my opinion. My humble opinion. Is it? So it's not, you know if it's a if it's a walk up, always make the you know the first bass note also a triple octave because it's just it's just really worth it. But um, yeah, it'll give it a more beefy sound. You'll notice in that maple leaf frag mini that I did, um, I had this as a triple octave, but everything after that not a triple octave, and then all the walk ups are triple octaves. That's just one. Uh, one of the tips that I got for you guys who are watching this. You're probably already bored out of your ride. Feel free to skip. Also, of course, if you guys want to watch the whole entire tedious thing here, then go ahead. I don't recommend it. I might actually add drone tenths. I'm not sure about that. Maybe. That might be fun. I can attempt that later on a different file. Maybe a second video. You'll notice in some piano rolls, player piano rolls, that when J. Lawrence Cook was um, arranging, he would have drones that imitated brass in an orchestra arrangement. And tenths are actually a lot of fun. They sound great. In my humble, humble opinion. Literally nobody cares about my opinion, so I might as well just shut up now. That didn't last very long, did it? Ooh, I don't like sixth. Sixth are no fun. This I guess are fun. No idea if this synth is tuned to equal temperament or not. That'd be interesting to find out. Well, then again, it probably is because uh, they sampled this from a piano. Obviously, there's no way I can make it synthesized. Duh. Durr. <laughs> okay, that can go like that. Ow! Doop doop. Uh, oh, dee dee dee. Bing. All at once. There's this fly in front of my computer and it's just buzzing around on the curtain. Jeez, that thing is a cow. And the size of one, size of an elephant maybe. Ugh. It's so disgusting with those darn buggers that go in. Uh, 
My, the mic levels turned up too high. <laughs> okay. It's so slow, especially since I don't have the repeats furled. I had the repeats rolled, which unfortunately, Muse score is stupid in that way that it doesn't keep the repeats furled on a MIDI file. It doesn't detect repeats. So that's unfortunate, because if I could roll up the repeats, this would take twice as short of a time. About half as long as it would normally. But no, Muse score is just hard in that way. And that's where the sad story of Phil Barch's end of her to do these crazy arrangements ends. Oh, what are you doing here? Dirty ding dong. Okay, let's go down here. Yeah. Feel free to watch this at two times speed. It's gonna look like a little disco. about these arrangements is that a lot of times I'm going to have to correct a lot of stuff in MIDI editor once I'm done with this whole entire thing. But um, the problem with double track MIDI files is that there's notes that will run into each other and then you got to get rid of those because if you punch this into a roll, which actually I'll leave a link to, a, to this one British guy's website, great guy, Julian Dyer. He actually does punch piano rolls from a MIDI file, and if you guys ever wanted to have a player piano roll as punched from your own MIDI file, go ahead and send it to him. Um, I'll leave a link to his site. He's in Britain. I'm not in Britain. Better not get rid of that flap, but come on. There we go. I don't fly into a rage typically, but sometimes these things all piss me off real bad. That's gonna fall way below. I knew it! Totally right about that, okay. Up you go. Okay, perfect, no running in notes. Um. Sound like the beginning of Jaws theme right there. Don't. <laughs> All of that one. Oh no. Now I'm kind of breaking the rules here. Uh, oh man, it's gonna be an octave nightmare. No 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 I find it's lame. Fiber optics is the real way to go. 5G is nothing but causing syndromes in UK. Not the coronavirus. might add drone tents later on. So I'm, you know, right now I'm just doing a basic arrangement. Then I'm going to do the slurred and so on. 
I might come back to this though and add some tenths, just for taste. Tenths to taste. Two for tea. Oh, fine then. I shouldn't have took a lot of this on. Wonder what happened there. Alright. These notes go so unbelievably low. They're almost like nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid of the MIDI editor part, though. That's terrifying. Oh. That was below. Oh, that was like dong. <laughs> Dong! <laughs> Turn it, these little. Come on! No, no. Oops. Wrong melody in my head. Okay. I listened to this song a lot when I had it on my MP3 player. Which unfortunately one got broken. Well, I broke it myself because it was such a piece of junk. I actually split the circuit board in half and tore off the screen from the battery and yeah, a lot of other horrible stuff that I did to that thing. And then I hammered the screen apart into dust. Literally the glass turned into dust. Strange. Can't wait until this section is done. Uh, so I staccatify so much here. Oh boy. Plenty of fun for the whole family. Oops. Ah, busted problem. <laughs> well, the nines. Okay. Oh, not the. F Probably those darn accidentals that. You accidentally select them, then you screw up the whole entire score by deleting one. Again. Ooh, people starting to get loud.
I can't wait until this is... So wait a second, how long is this section? Oh, there we go, there's the... <laughs> this is starting to drive me a little crazy right here. Why is this taking so darn long? I don't remember this being so long. Strange. Go below. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. So brilliant. Okay. <laughs> this piano bench is so darn squeaky, it's unbelievable. Dong. Sounds like a dented bell right there. Really badly dent. Let's go below again. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. No, make this end. So I'm doing the same thing in circles. If you guys are really sick of this, just as sick as I am, I wish I could skip. Thing is, I can't. That is a major problem. Unfortunately. Three sharps, three sharps, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I wish this song wasn't in the key of what's in. Oh no, I can't go back or else I'll lose my spot here. Um. Oh, this is madness. You know, guys, while I'm just sitting here, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. That would help a lot. Comment if you have any questions. Drop me a line through the email address on my homepage. If you guys would like to ask a question over email, and of course, buy me a coffee if you like. That really helps. Ah, finally we're out of that horrible part there. Let's drop this an octave. Let's drop the, bring this up an octave. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I should just... That's better. Make it a bit of a more of a nice graduation there. Oh! There's some exciting parts that we can get into. Actually, nah, let's do all four. Okay, perfect. Make a three chord, tritone chord thing. Oh. That's kind of close, but I can fix that. I screwed up somewhere along the line, I remember once. I really gotta set up a hotkey for that. Getting some funny ties here. Come on. Put a 
big tie there. I kind of like the way these look. Big ties. Little ties are a bit irritating for me because they just kind of hard to see sometimes. In some cases, you just can't see them. Okay. I used to have to go, you know, try to find the octave and just, it would take me hours, hours to do this. Much easier now than it was find you how to add octaves automatically. No! That was a close one. I could have screwed up pretty badly there. That was ironic. Um, just a second, I'm gonna close the door so that I don't get any uh, recording noise here. I remember once on the one of my Rasputin <laughs> on the Rasputin first version, Black Midi. Well, not really Black Midi, Impossible Remix. I uh, accidentally left my microphone on. You could probably hear the white noise in the background. I didn't like that. I don't think there's anybody in the house then. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> hmm. Got a few itchy spots. I never like tuplets. Tuplets are irritating because they don't quantify well. Very irritating, actually. You know, this is actually a playable MIDI file. Right now, what I'm arranging is actually a playable and a duet. Oh, look at this. I wish I could pause the recording, and that's unfortunate. This is gonna be a long upload. So we're actually, not even end up on the platform. Be unfortunate. Come on. Oh, this is going up. This is gonna go up no matter what. Too much work into it to not go up. Thank you for not going onto the other page. Sometimes when you add all those octaves, it'll actually extend the score. If you try to ever print it out, it might end up on like you know four pages and like just one single measure on the other on the last page, and that is a Total waste of paper. Like I, I really hate it when that happens. It's just horrible. Hey, stop! Eyes.
There's downsides to the music score. I could easily get all these slurs over. Yeah, I can get slurs over with easily. If it weren't for the fact that the slurs don't do anything when you add them to the score, I mean, they don't, they don't do a thing. Accents either. They, they just don't do anything. Fix this music score, Jesus. I mean. Articulations that don't do anything? I mean, what kind of waste of time is that? I mean, you guys make the score sound like it's written. Not like it's nothing. more pages of this I gotta do, but I know it's starting to get nuts. Just hit this thing right over. No. Yeah, that's why I didn't do that. Oh boy, an itchy head. No. Oh, it's a. <laughs> That's the problem with this. This is so dumb. So dumb. Why does that happen? Nobody asked me. That is just total bull hockey right there. What is this? Man. Nope, hey. Darn it, you chase up. Stupid. This car is either as helpful or it's just plain trash. I can't believe this. I'm gonna make this very zoomed in. There we go. Ah, much better. Wait a second, I'm gonna make that actually a little tiny bit smaller. Oh, oh, yay. No. Oh, come on. It's 
It's not gonna select this. I mean, you guys can make it so much easier, yet you make it so hard. Music score is just like I didn't use this program for a while because it was just too stupid for me. I tried Sibelius, it didn't work. I don't understand what these, why these are, why this is written like this. Like, this is really dumb, the way they wrote this. Oh. Oh, now I know what the, oh. It's one of those annoying parts in the song, huh? I still don't understand why they, written, they wrote it, though. It's just so... So beyond stupid. Get out of there. This is without a doubt one of the toughest rages I've done so far. Just because of whoever wrote this. It's because the notation is just terrible. It's just. It's, look. Come on, man. Go away. Darn it. I don't. Nope, control Y. You score. Fix this darn problem. Why can't you guys get make this even easier? This is just... It's like... A rat race trying to do this or something. It's just horrible. It's like the worst program ever. I wonder if people use Sibelius more than you. Stupid. This is unbelievable. All right, fine. That's gonna be a little different. Okay, this is easy. It's a lot easier when you zoom in. So we're not going red on me.
this, I'm gonna go a slightly quicker way here. Then I'm gonna add some touch-ups once I'm done. Luckily, it's the last darn page of this heathen score. It's just such a pain. Like, I can't believe how hard this is. I'm. If you're not patient, and I'm not very patient, I don't. I don't recommend doing this unless it's really worth it. I mean, it's, you know, sure for me, it's worth it to see the finished product. But I'm, you know, warning to everybody. This is just. This is really hard. This is not an easy job. <laughs> it's, it's just, um, it's scary. It's, it's pretty scary. <sighs> if you think this kind of thing is scary. If you're one of those people who think peanut butter stuck to the roof of the mouth is scary, then you haven't seen this yet. That was a little easier. That I should have just done all at once. That would have been much easier. Like that. You see, sometimes I'll do things efficiently, sometimes I'll just do things so inefficiently it's almost. It's like almost. It's almost embarrassing. That worked. Okay, where'd you go? <laughs> there you are. This would have been the most boring live stream on the face of the earth. If this had been a live stream, which luckily it isn't. My network bandwidth is too low to have a good live stream anyway. I personally don't like going live. See the point of it anyway. Of course, like the news or something, then you can see I go ahead and do it live, but I don't do things live. Alright, hold up a second. <laughs> That's just. Oh boy, okay. Dun 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 dun. dun. stuff here. Oh boy, okay. I I okay. <laughs> um <laughs> I just realized something that I'm not gonna tell anybody because I'm gonna spoil the video obviously. Wait a second. Oh I'm gonna get back to one hundred percent because this is uh pretty crazy when it's not No, 
not completely breaking the rules because I'm not going measure by measure like I said to do. Pew, you stupid idiot. Sometimes it's just quicker to go. Yeah, you know, do whatever you think is quickest. And what you think is the most accuracy. Because it's really a pain to find a tie that you didn't do right. Yes. It's, it's 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 very irritating when you get it wrong. Right toward the end. It's a high note. Ones did like. Oh no. Okay, another one of those problematic notes. Does sort of a random thing, but all right, yeah, it's the same thing. So with that, oh, there we go. I got this massive core that I think is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen notes, which is a typical ending in my case because I like to have a big, dashy, huge, awesome ending. It's a lot of fun. Big floopin' ending, as Gav Free would say. Okay, let's listen to that back now. See where I can add some flourishes. And you know, actually, while I'm doing this, I might as well um, add some staccato. Which, unfortunately... No. Yeah, let's just... Dump it down right on this guy. So see, this will make it um, it'll go, it'll go don boom instead of don dan. Just keep on dragging everything. So now what you can do is select that Control C and then just select any note in one of those chords and just keep going like that. And V. Everybody else to add on now. So here we go. So it's gonna sound. This is gonna how it sound. Um, sorry, I'm getting my. Like... See, it's got a really punchy sound now. As opposed to that wishy washy, no staccato annoyingness. Which I really hate. It's like the worst thing ever. Just have just all that crap nothingness that doesn't sound good. It takes a long time, but where? Luckily, it goes a lot faster than the, than the actual thing, because you don't have to go... You're not adding stuff. You're just simply doing <laughs> select all the notes that you need and just control paste. I mean control V, not control paste. What am I talking about? Bing bing. Zoomed out a bit. Final add it there too. Whatever. Bing. Um. 
way to get along faster here. My computer is getting very worked up right now. It's because of the fact that I'm recording this for so long. This is going to take forever to upload. I'm going to save for like an hour or so. That's not good. Oh, man. Should probably stay Windows Movie Maker make this really bad. Oh, darn. Okay. Oh, I accidentally hit Control X. That's what happened. Or did I? I'm not sure. So that that note turned white. Ha! I cheated. You can also just make a whole entire score staccato if you want. Oh, there we go. Just wondering what happened there. Hold me. That's weird. Anything else did this guy? I guess nothing happened. I sort of like hope nothing happened because I would have been really screwy had that happened. And everything had been lost. I would have I would have flipped out. Would have been a lot of swearing involved, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> See, it doesn't really matter which note you hit, because the whole entire chord's going to be either way staccato. And sometimes I wish you could add, you know, on individual notes, because that would, um, that would allow you to shorten certain notes that would be normally just hitting each other in the MIDI file. And if you try to punch those into a piano, it would just be one single note. It would be very, um, bad. I'm trying to remember what this part is. Oh, that's what it is. That's cool. We're almost at the end here. Okay, finally. Now we're going to do some embellishments here. Just see where we can hit them. I was thinking of adding thirds in there, but that's not going to probably work. Make this 100% here. That's not my sound decent. Not too bad, I don't think. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, no! <laughs> I recommend adding embellishments in the second strain, or in the second repeat. Not the very first one. Because that'll make it a bit more, you know, it'll build up. Never 
mind. That still wasn't. Now we can do it. This is the second straight, so we can do a lot more stuff here. Use there for a second. Done. <laughs> yeah, totally out of tune. Sounds that wrong right there. Just took forever. Yeah, you know, I'll have him in the middle. Actually, no, those thirds aren't too great of an idea. The uh, velocities are uneven, so some of the notes are kind of hiding behind the others. I mean, the others, not the others. I'm not a cow. This, this isn't a cow. So, yeah, never mind. Uh, this is the annoying part. It's took forever. I just want to listen to this again just to see what it's uh, sounds like. Feel, feel free to skip because I'm probably going to get rid of these thirds. I don't know if I am. Um, I don't know if they sound too great actually. Trial and error. Weird sounding in there. Oh, 
that sound too bad. I just wanted to get the stick out in here. Sounding like this. this. This is like this is like sort of sort of like the beginning draft of a piano arrangement. But um, it doesn't have the slurs. But um, I'm gonna get to those. Hmm. Let's listen through this actually. Hmm. Oh, this video is gonna take for ever to upload, so what I think I'm gonna do is, once this song finishes playing back, and I make the last little edits, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop recording here and come back tomorrow. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so that's the um, that's the, the embellished arrangement right there, and what we're gonna do tomorrow is um finish off with uh, slurring and pulling some bass notes around. So that's gonna be fun. And until then, please subscribe if you if you like the stuff that I do. Like if you like it. If you don't like it, well, I'd appreciate a comment. You know, you get, by all means, give it a dislike, but. Leave a comment why you didn't like it, because I can't do anything if you just leave a dislike. But, um, yeah, comments are also appreciated. Any ideas, any, you know, any, like, little tiny tweaks to the song, I, I'd love to hear. Because I'm just, you know, I'm still kind of a freshman in this case, of trying to get all this stuff arranged. I, I've been doing this for the past, oh, year or so. So I've, I've had some experience, but if you guys have any uh, suggestions, leave them in the comments. Uh... Until then, see you guys tomorrow.